Hello everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. I am a NetSuite functional consultant at BISP Solutions. In today's session, we will know about the in-transit payments in the NetSuite application. So let's start. Uh, so as we all know that uh, transit refers to the payment which takes place between the parties of two different banks. If we talk about the NetSuite application, so here the in-transit payment feature is used to recognize the payment deposits at a point of time in which it actually occurs. Uh, there are two stages for uh, in-transit payments. So first one is recording the payment and the other one is verifying the funds deposited. In the first stage, what happens? Uh, a payment uh, a payment record is entered. Uh, this is mainly done to track the uh, uh, to track that a payment is being made. Just for a record, I mean, uh, for for a time being, the amount of this payment is uh, is taken into a temporary account, which is known as the cash in transit clearing account, uh, until it is uh, verified by the banks. So after uh, the this is the first step. This is the first stage. Uh, if uh, when the verification is received uh, that the payments have been properly processed by the vendor's bank, so it is marked as confirmed, and the amount from the CIT accounts will be uh, taken out, and the reconciliation process will be started. Uh, the in-transit uh, payment feature helps in assessing the accurate account balances for cash and accounts payables when funds have not uh, reached the bank. I mean, it accurately uh, tracks the status of a payment that are related to the vendors. If we talk about the in-transit payment setup, so it is concerned with the first uh, a uh, step in the setup of in transit payment is enabling the uh, in transit payment features we have to enable that feature first uh, after uh, enabling the feature we have to create a separate account uh, you can say a temporary account for it which is a cash in transit uh, clearing account so let me tell you what is the in uh, what is the cash in transit uh, clearing account so it is uh, a clearing account which is mainly created for holding the amount that are to be paid uh, but yet but yet not been received by the vendor's bank so for a time being the amount is you know uh, this account is created just to hold that uh, amount uh, until uh, it is received by the vendor vendor's bank so it uh, this account the cit clearing account must be an other uh, current liability type of account and uh, which can be used for journals and uh, in transit payment accounts only after creating the in cash in transit clearing account uh, uh, we have to set the preferences for in transit payment in the netsuite application so this is the proper flow or i would say the proper process for in transit payment we can see when the in transit payment uh, is uh, entered so what is its effect uh, so firstly it is uh, posted uh, this amount is be, is being uh, posted to the cash in transit account so if we go into the vendor's bank so what happens when the in transit payment uh, is entered so uh, we if we want to see the gl impact of it so system journals are being created where the clearing payments accounts are being debited and the clearing payment pending accounts are being credited so moving further we can see that uh, the into the vendor's bank when the when we enter the in transit payment uh, in the into the vendor's bank so uh, we are having uh, two cases or we are having two options like either the payment is confirmed or uh, the payment is declined so what happens when the payment is confirmed a reversing journal entry will be passed we can see in the picture uh, when the payment is confirmed so the funds uh, have been uh, dispersed by the banks and the status in the vendor's bill status shown over here is paid in full if we go into the system journals of it so you can see the uh, entry that have been passed for when we entered the in transit payment so here we are here we are having this clearing account uh, clearing payment account debited but when the payment is confirmed you can see that this account has been credited now and the clearing payment pending account which has been credited over over there uh, it's being debited in the uh, when the payment is confirmed so uh, in both the cases and if the payment due to some errors if the payment is uh, declined 
so uh, there are also a reversing journal entry will be passed only the difference will be that into the bill status uh, for confirming the payment we are having the status of paid in full and uh, if uh, it is not confirmed it is declined so the payment, uh, the bill will be opened for payment this is the main difference so in order to uh, the first thing regarding the setup of the in transit payment the first thing that we have to do is to enable the feature for in transit payment for that we will be going under the setup company enable features so we have to go down under the accounting sub tab So here we can see this in transit payment feature is enabled it is already enabled and uh, if it is not enabled we can check mark this and click on save as i am not saving as it is already enabled so again we will be going back to the home page after enabling the features we have to create a separate uh, cash in transit account for that we will be going under the setup accounting under manage gl and under the chart of accounts as i have already created a cash in transit clearing account for it uh, which uh, uh, which whose number is uh, 2608 so we do not have to uh, create it again so we will be going back to the home page so the next step we are, uh, we have is the setting the preferences for this like uh, as i have created this clearing account and i want the in transit payment to be uh, Uh, posted to these accounts so for that we will, i have to set up my preferences so i will be going under the setup accounting under accounting preferences so here also we are having the in transit payment feature under the accounts table here it, uh, it is the vendor in transit uh, payment account so i have to mention the number uh, of that account i have to select the account that i have created for it like i have created 2608 this is the account i have selected it and i will click on save so as we are done with the setup we have enabled the features we have set the preferences we have created an account for it now we will uh, start the process for in transit uh, payment uh, for that we will be going under the transactions payables enter bills so the first thing uh, we are on the bill page now the first thing we have to change the form from custom to standard we are taking the standard vendor bill over here uh you can see uh we have to take the vendor like i am taking here this uh, bisp infonet and you can see that the account that will be affected with this with this vendor is already here uh yes subsidiary that is associated with this uh, bisp in infonet is bisp uk hq currency is already been taken up according to the subsidiary and uh, due date is here the date is here posting period uh approval we can change the approval from pending approval to approved uh if we want to give any memo for uh, a uh, more uh, elaboration uh, more for more information we can provide it uh, if we go down so under the line level 
uh, as uh, I want to make this uh, in transit payment for any expense so I will be selecting here the category the amount I have to mention like I am uh, I want this to be for 3000 you can see that un under the gross amount uh, the amount has been taken up we have to provide the location for it also and after this we will click on add some more information is also required to be given like the LND quality and product quality and after providing all these details we can click on save Now we got the confirmation that our bill has been successfully saved. So the our next step is now the bill is open and our next step is to make the payment for it. We will click on make payment. So here uh, everything is uh, every info, uh, information relating to this particular bill is here. Uh, we, we just have to take a cross check of it we can see this is the bill for uh, $3,600 uh, we will go up and uh, we will provide a memo for it like as we have uh, as this uh, in transit payment is for an expense and uh, uh, as it is an in transit payment so we have to check this box and after checking it we will click on save now we got the confirmation that our bill payment has been successfully uh, done uh, you can see that uh, in the further in transit payment uh, the two options are here confirm and decline so before confirming or declining we have to go into the vendors dashboard to see the system journals uh, so we will be going into the bisp infonet dashboard this is our vendor so we will be going into his dashboard this is the bisp infonet dashboard we will go down into the transactions so here we can see uh, this is a system journal that has been just created this is the document uh, this is the transaction number we will click on it in order to see the uh, effect of this transaction we will be going under the GL impact of it so here, here you can see that the clearing payment account is being debited clearing payment account is being debited and the uh, clearing uh, uh, CIT clearing account is being credited this is the normal entry all right uh, so if we go back towards the bill payment uh, page and we will click on confirm we just have to confirm the dates and all and we will click on OK. So we can see that we got the confirmation that uh, this uh, uh, in transit payment has been confirmed uh, by the bank. So again we will be going uh, towards our da vendors dashboard. for having a look of the reversal of this entry we will be going into its dashboard So as you know that we have confirmed a payment so we will be having the this is the uh, system journal uh, if we go into the GL impact of it 
this is the first entry if we go into the reversal of it reversal entry of this so here you can see that the CIT clearing account which has been credited before is now being debited as it is as the reversal has been made and the clearing payment account has been credited over here. So this is the uh, GL impact of this. Uh, again we will be going back to the vendors dashboard. If we take the other thing into consideration, this is for confirming if uh, the if due to some errors, the payment is being declined by the bank. So for that, uh, what happens this reverse this these two entries will be passed like entry number 32 and 33 will be passed. But uh, the only difference is uh, this uh, we will not be having this option paid in full since uh, the payment will be declined. So the bill will be opened and it is not paid in full. That is, this is the main difference for confirming and declining a payment uh, for using the in transit payment. So this is all from uh, my side. In case of any questions, queries and consultations, you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.